Good afternoon, everyone. This is Pastor Mark Sewell from the Vine Church. I wanted to spend just a couple minutes to give you a couple words of encouragement today. We've heard a lot of different things going on. Stay-at-home orders now across the state of Maryland. Franklin County stay-at-home orders. The number keeps increasing. Anxiety keeps bearing in. But Jesus is there for us. I just wanted to just emphasize that in our time of anxiety, in our time of worry, please feel the embrace of his love. I wanted to read a couple of verses in scripture from Romans 5. If you, if you have your Bibles, go get them. Romans 5 is in the New Testament, chapter 5, verses 1 through 6. I'm going to read from the New Living Translation. Therefore, since we've been made right in God's sight, we have peace with God because of what Jesus Christ our Lord has done for us. Because of our faith. This is so important because of our, especially in these days, okay? I'm getting there. Verse 2. Because of our faith, Christ has brought, brought us into this place of undeserved privilege where we now stand. We confidently and even joyfully look forward to sharing God's glory. Verse 3. We can rejoice too when we run into problems trials for we know that they help us develop endurance and endurance develops strength of character and character strengthens our confident hope for salvation and this hope will not lead to disappointment for we know that how dearly God loves us because he's given us the Holy Spirit to fill our hearts with his love when we were utterly helpless, verse 6, Christ came just as the right time and died for us sinners. Wow, these verses are full of hope. I, and I, I just want you to be able to embrace this hope this afternoon. I want you to embrace this hope. I want you to help your children, your grandkids. I'm asking the Vine community to be examples of hope for others when we're at Walmart, when we're getting nervous when we're hearing all these other precautions and all these other regulations changing. I want you to feel this hope. I want you to know that we will have trials. We will have difficulties. This is a hard, hard situation. It can bring tears to our eyes in a heartbeat. People losing their jobs, being laid off. I'm hearing those stories. I'm hearing those stories from our Vine community. But we love each other. And we're committed to connecting each other to Christ. We're connect, committed to connecting each other. Call your neighbors. Call your family. Stay connected to them. Ask them if they have any needs. I've got papers. I can travel. I can get you prescriptions. I can get you food. People are doing that in our Vine community already. Let's not stop. We've got a lot of distractions that and schedules have clearly opened up, especially with the stay-at-home order. So let's use that time to embrace God's word. Let's use that time to love on each other and let God carry our stress, let God carry our burdens. Yes, we've got a stay-at-home order. So this Sunday, we're having live services. But guess what? They're going to be going from my living room. That's right. We're going to be doing communion. So I want you to prepare for that. All of our, our, our folks that are connected with the vine, Regardless of whether you might be Catholic or whatever it might be, you're connecting with us because we care for you and you know that. But I want you to prepare for I want you to prepare for communion in your hearts. I want you to consider are is there anyone that you need to forgive or is there anyone you need to reconcile with or ask for reconciliation? Do that this week. When we join together at 10 o'clock on Sunday, we're going to experience a great time together. We're going to experience a time that we really embrace God's love. So get some bread handy. Have that available. Have some juice, please. No, no alcohol. And in our context of the Vine Church, we stay away from that. Juice is fine. I'm think I'm using a by b a i joy juice for this Sunday. Lori and I, because it would just be her and I at the house. But we're going to do that together. We're going to celebrate. We're going to remember what God did. Because you know what? Sunday is also Palm Sunday. That's right. We're going to sing hallelujah in our hearts. 
because of what Jesus did. We're going to look forward to Easter because COVID-19 cannot take away Easter. No, we're going to celebrate the resurrection of the Lord in two weeks. We're going to, we're going to embrace that reality, but we're also going to care for each other through all of this. So I want you to be ready. Call your neighbors, connect to your families, share this video, share the videos, share the posts that are coming through. They're going to be daily posts. Every day you're going to see something, words of encouragement. I'm so grateful for Sherry. She said she's always posting great devotionals, great words of encouragement. And I'll be plugging in some other information, ways that, that we can connect to, to just feel God's love. A couple other things I want you to be aware of. Now that we have a stay-at-home order, we're not going to let that from stopping us to get together. If you've ever heard of Zoom, go to, go to the internet. Go to zoom.us. Download the Zoom app on your phone. Download the Zoom app on your computer, your laptop, whatever you happen to use, your iPad, whatever you use. Because we're going to be planning on our men's life group. We're going to be doing it the Zoom way. We're going to be practicing this. We're going to be figuring out how this all works. We're going to see each other. We're going to talk to each other. For our forgiveness study that we've been doing, it's all going to be done on Zoom map. I want to get more information about that out to you soon. And there's a possibility of starting a new study for the women of the vine on empowering your faith all through Zoom. We're going to stay connected. We're going to be able to see each other. We're going to be able to pray for each other right on the, in the comfort of our own homes safely. Very social distancing, right? Because everyone will be in their own homes. But we're going to see and be able to hear each other anyway. God's made these technology, technological resources available, and, and it's going to be a wonderful way to stay connected. I'm grateful that we have this, even during this time. So please share it. Please get the word out. Let's communicate with each other. I'm seeing a couple people just getting some messages up to me. Yes, how you doing, Andrew? This is how this works. We're a community. We're a divine community loves each other. We love the community. We want to help the community. So please share this. Get the word out. Let's stay focused on Jesus. Let's grasp his word. Let's take the scriptures and actually delight in it. Not be stressed out about it. God's going to get us through this. God is bigger than all of this. Amen? Can I get an amen? Because he is. Let's delight in him today. And let's feel the warmth of his love and the warmth of his presence. I want to thank you for joining me. I'll be back in a couple days to give you another word of encouragement. Have a blessed day. Amen.